Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to a brand new um, Sims challenge on my channel. And have you ever wondered what it would be like if you could get a second chance? If you can just go and have a do-over and start all over again? And that's the premise for this new challenge. Um, we are going to have... I've named him Kai. Kai Bennett. And... Um, he wants to have a second chance in life so let me create him and then we can get into the challenge and i can explain what's going on
Okay, so we have... Where's Kai? Where's he gone? There he is. He's just standing there looking all whatever. I don't know. Um, right, so let me just pause this and let you know what the scenario is. Wanted, a wealthy benefactor is looking for an adventurous sim for a social experiment. They will be given a home to live in and enough funds to start a new life. The sim in question must agree to have every aspect of their lives followed for 10 generations. Interested? Call 555 New Life. That's 555 639 5433. Your sim starts with a rundown shell of a house with no electricity, off the grid, only eatables that's living off the land from the country, country living pack and always need repairing traits enabled. I also added um, filthy, I think. Let's see the traits. Because it will come under challenges. So filthy, so everything just gets dirty all the time. Gremlin, so it always needs repairing. Off the grid, so there's no utility bills. And simple living, which means you have to cook everything that you eat. And Gen 1 starts with the basics, toilet, fridge, bed, large garbage bin, and I don't think I had anything else, did I? And a sink. I forgot to put the sink on the list, because you need something. Um, delete the excess funds, and the first purchase that you make must be a woodworking table. Anything else they want must be created or salvaged. Gen 1 must live off the land. They have to grow their own food. They can't just order in what they want. They may keep a cow or chickens if they have the funds. Uh, grills are allowed, but they do have the tendency to catch fire. And once they have 50,000 simoleons in the bank, they can start to decorate their house to their heart's content. Uh, generation 1 cannot have a job. Other generations do not have this restriction. And that's basically it. General restrictions. The money tree trait or money tree seeds cannot be purchased mods and cheats are permitted but not if they give your sim an advantage for example i use mccc that's um the mc uh master controller center i forget what the other c's are for but i use that to um to take away funds and reset a stuck sim but not to cheat in friends or anything that can help your sim you can also install other mods to make gameplay more interesting for, exa for example in here i have healthcare Re redux i think that's how you pronounce it wonderful whims uh base mental drugs and you can install base mental gang slice of life more personality please you know different stuff right I also have mods to that have overhauled the aspirations and traits. So that's why when I was picking his, actually I'll go through his traits in a second, but you'll see it's not base game because I think the traits and the aspirations need an overhaul. And what else? Uh, you may have a child at any, child, at any time. When you have your child is up to you and how difficult you want your challenge to be. You can set the lifespan to whichever one you prefer. Um, if you're on a short or normal lifespan, celebrate birthdays as usual. If you're using a long lifespan, you can use milestones as a guide to age up your sim or dependents. So usually if I've got a toddler, then it's um they have to get uh lev they have to get at least three skills under their belt before they can age up. Um, you can use you can use a mod or a randomizer to randomize traits when they age up. I have a mod that does it automatically because I don't like thinking about those things. I just let it do it and it helps me to play with stuff I'm not used to playing with. Um, spares can be moved out once they reach to young adults and do not push children or teens to do homework if they get A grades by the time they age up to young adult. They may have the option to go to university. Be aware that this time is part of your sim's overall time and time does not stop for college. Which is a bit of shade at Sims 2 because you went to college and everything stayed as it was. And the main goal is to have a 10 generation legacy. So there you go. So let's just start him off and get him going. So Kai is a bit of a lovable rogue. Let's have a good look at you Kai. I mean, how can you resist that face? He's such a cheesy little little guy. 
And um, he's done some awful things in his life and he got in with the wrong well, not awful but he got in with the wrong crowd and he wants to start all over again so we're on an island we've got this house which has stuff it's just there you've got candles although you can't you can't interact with them but you've got candles don't put any no there's none in this room um there's a stove how can he get the video game skill it's like he's off the grid he can't charge his phone but anyway there's that there's a basement with more candles yeah you can't interact with these candles but they provide light and upstairs we have a really nasty looking bed an old-fashioned toilet and that's it so we need to get some funds so that we can, you know, start growing some crops. We can't even dumpster dive because there's nothing in there. So Kai, let's find something for you to do. Um, we are not going to Batu. Thank Batu. Thank you very much. Oh, we're right next. Oh, we're right next to the beach. And. He likes video gaming. Okay, you need something to take your time away. Um, or you can gather water and we can go fishing. So while he's doing that, I've got to get... Oh, you can join... You can join... What's her name? I was just about to call her Victoria. E Edith? Judith. Judith Ward. <laughs> you can join her in fishing. She looks like she... Uh, no? What are you doing? Didn't I send you to dig? Did you dig? I guess you did. Is there anything? Oh, you found common upgrade parts. Okay. Well, come and fish. Gather water. Can you not do that? I've never done off the grid, which was the primary reason for me writing this, this legacy. And I wanted something, I wanted something that would last me all year because I've never done a 10, uh, generating. Okay, cool. I've never, I've never done a ten gen legacy either, so I thought this will be something different to do. Are you going to talk? Okay, not bad. See, he's a, he's a charmer. Usually, you can't talk to Judith Ward. And they're chatting away. There you go. See, I told you. Okay, what else can we do? I wanted him to fish. We need to get some fish so we can get money. Uh, can you fish together? See, she's happy to see. I have never... I've never had a sim manage to talk to Judith Ward. Oh, the welcome wagon's here. Let's go and see who's at the door. Um, is, it, is that Bjorn? Is that a Bjornson? Yeah. And who are you? Oh, Jack Villarreal. Well, we'll get to you eventually. We need to catch some fish first. Not much point having the well. Although, you know, you could have the welcome wagon because they have food. And you need all the food you can get, so... Has he... No, he I'll let her catch something, and then you can go welcome the welcome wagon, if they haven't left. They've left. Never mind. Uh, the fish are too crafty. Okay, Kai. Um, let's go home. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, harvest all, because you need to be living off the land. Look for frogs, that's one way to get money. Dig. I didn't realise there was so much stuff around here. I just, um, I just picked it because it's on the island. But I didn't realise, you know. 
Who lives here? Oh no, nobody. He's found a tiger frog. Yeah. Eat that plant. Dig that. And then when he gets back, then we can um we can look at his aspiration and stuff. I forgot I said I was going to look at it. Uh I think if once you view the bushes, it will um it will let it will make them grow. Okay, let's put you on fast forward. Oh we've got something. Now aren't the capsules more I think they cost, it's, it costs more if you sell them, I like, as in you get more money for it, and he wants to use the toilet. How do we know how much water we've generated? Uh, show bills information. Okay, okay, that's not too bad. Alright, so, I thought he had three of these, he's only got two. Should we open them or should we sell them? I think we can sell one. Oh, you can't sell them anymore. You used to be able to sell them. Ah. We've been rumbled. You used to be able to sell them. But we can sell these though. Um, my sim stuff because we don't need that. All right, we've got 125 simoleons. So at least then we can purchase some... Um, plants i think we should move these inside so then he can have plants growing all the time because i mean it's not like there's anything else in here okay let's purchase some seeds Purchase seeds. Oh, before we do that, aspiration. I keep saying that. Shay, you know, gargantuan gardener. Okay. Oh, it's only one thing. All right. I see how it is. Because this is one of the new aspirations that's been overhauled. So they've taken some of the stuff from Country Living and just made it into a an aspiration, which is fine. That's good. All right, well, we can purchase oversized crops as well because you can put those in these. And I'm pretty sure they they um they grow all the time. So if we buy one aubergine, one lettuce, one mushroom, one pumpkin. Yeah, buy one of each. That's 85. And then with these seeds by um starter fruits or starter vegetables both the same we can only buy one to vegetables okay and then let's open the seed packet and what do we get taro root and carrots okay i don't know if you can actually cook with taro roots though so we might have to sell those I don't think you can cook with those. Oh, you only get six, six simoleons? No, it's not worth it. Uh, move over. Okay, let's put these in the fridge at least. Open. You might have to get some animals too, although I'm not sure you can fit them on this lot. Alright, uh, plant. And then you can plant these as well. Keep these in your inventory. Yeah, oh, okay. What did I say? Oh, I don't know. Not purchase. Plant. Aubergine. And pumpkin. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Kai, what are you doing? Oh, you're 
doing stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm, I want, I, I'm determined to do a 10 generation legacy this year. Okay, do we have to water these? Yes. I mean, I've played Country Living like once. And that was when it first came out. And I haven't played it since. Oh. Yeah. Uh, not oversized crop. Mushroom. I think we can get a chicken coop, but if we get a chicken coop, we've got to knock down the tree. Cut the tree down and put the chicken coop here. And they'll get away, so I don't know if it's worth it. I seem to remember the animals are really faffy. But that's something we can look at in the future, I guess. Uh, water these too, Kai. Well, at least he's happy. Um, anything else that we can do today? Your first day? Do you have anyone you can talk to? Oh. Oh, they don't like him because... But I thought he was chatting to Judith. Okay. I take that back about Judith. He was chatting to her and but she doesn't even register. So yeah, she didn't she was just slumming it because she could. Uh wash your hands, but we gotta get you something to eat though. Can we cook anything? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can do anything with the taro root apart from make drink from it. Uh, more choices open. You're gonna have to eat it. And I think in the morning we are going to have to. We're gonna we're gonna have to go and find go go. Oh, you know what? We can go to a park. Can they do anything with the um? Oh, they can't do anything with the radiators. It would have been cool if you could like warm your hands up on them or something. But obviously not. Right. Let's get you up to bed, and then in the morning, he's hungry again. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. In the morning, we can go looking for a grill. Oh no, but you've got to have money to spend on the grill. Yeah, that's not going to work. That is definitely not going to work. Hmm. Oh, he's happy because he's living off the land. Right, I don't know. Hmm. This should be interesting. But it needs somewhere to bathe. I mean, you can wash it. As long as your, your hygiene doesn't get too low, you can um, wash up in the sink. And that would be okay. That looks pretty cool, actually. You know what? I honestly didn't realize that this lot was so close to the to the sea. All right, you're hungry, but you need to repair that first. Buy a bee box. Although that might be something he'd want to do at some point soon. Is he moaning because he doesn't want to? He'd... Scavenge for parts, mop up, and what else can we do? Right, let's throw you away, and then we've got to go look for food. Ah, what else is broken? Everything is broken. <laughs> You can't even hire a repair service because we can't afford that. He really is moaning. He sounds... <laughs> oh dear. Poor Kai. I mean, it, it makes a change from, I guess, getting in with the wrong crowds, but... Do nothing for 24 sim hours or do nothing social. All right, you want to go up and use the toilet, which you can do after you fix the stove. 
and then we've got to get you something to eat and yeah this is good this is going to be interesting but at least his handiness level is going up i didn't want to put the hand the the, the lot traits that you can learn handiness faster oh and he's wet himself all right well fix the sink then If you fix the sink, you're embarrassed. Nobody saw you. It's fine. All right, wash your hands. Keep brushing your teeth. Keep washing your hands and brushing your teeth. And that will bring up your hygiene. All right, scabbing for parts. No, 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 no. You're not going to bed to hide. We don't want you doing that. Right, now you can throw away everything. Okay, we know. Can you dumpster dive yet? Ooh, dive for deals. I mean, you're already stinky. You can't get much worse than you are. And he's autonomously gardening. I like you, Kai. Did you get anything from the dumpster, though? No. And we could also try diving for meals as well. I don't know if there's anything left. Deals or meals? Oh, it could be both. Let's try a meal. Um, asado, but it's spoilt. Okay, we are not going to die for meals anymore. All right. Uh, can we not harvest it? Oh, he's too uncomfortable. Okay, we need to sort you out, Kai. Anything we can do? No, nope, nothing we can do with those. Wash your hands. Keep washing them. I'm going to spam that until you're nice and clean. <laughs> We're getting there. It's back in the green. All right, you're hungry. Well, there's nothing we can do about that yet. All right, harvest the mushrooms. What about the other plants that you saw? Um, harvest the bluebells. And the snapdragons. And would that come under harvest all? I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else that we saw. There's more stuff to look to dig up out there. And we can look for another frog. Uh, why are you sad, Kai? Because you've got no one to talk to. Well, you know. That's the price you have to pay to, you know to live out here and get your second chance uh, spray for bugs all right so you can spray the area for bugs let's have a look in your inventory we have two frogs I think we can breed those breed with the eggplant frog and that gives us a whirly flower frog okay um Cannot be sold or deleted, but we can put it in the bin though, right? We could eat it. Probably make him ill, but we could eat it. Alright, well we're spraying for bugs. We could eat the spoiled food. Put the mushrooms in the fridge. Yeah, it made him ill. Surprise, surprise. Well, that's the end of his first two days. It's not too bad. We've got five simoleons to our name, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Only five simoleons. We've survived two nights in a spooky house that everything seems to break. Oh, is this dead? Why is that? Dead? No. 
Why is that? I don't know why that's like that. I don't think I don't think these are dead. That's interesting. But yeah, we survived the first two nights. Pretty interesting. We'll see what happens next time. We thought we had friends, but we don't. The welcoming committee hates him because he didn't turn up. <laughs> and Judith Ward was only slumming it because, you know, why not? So I think in the next episode, we're going to have to send him out, see if we can find someone to talk to. And maybe dumpster dive someplace else, do some other things, get his social up. And soon, well not soon, not yet, we're not going to start him on a hunt for a, a spouse yet. We need to get him a little comfortable, a kind of way comfortable, before we start looking for somebody to start the next generation. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, bye bye.